Hello, in this video I shall be giving the analysis of a topic. The topic is need for a self-reliant foreign policy in a multipolar world order. So today the world order is multipolar, it's not bipolar or unipolar anymore. Oh, so in that, in the wake of this kind of order in vogue in the world, there is a need for India to be self-reliant in its foreign policy. So we shall analyze about this. We are having variable conditions in our world today. There are no just two rivals with uh, two opposite ideologies, but we have so many combinations. And for that reason, we have to mingle up with like-minded partners in various sectors. So for defense, we have to mingle up with our like-minded partner. For other economic relations, we have to uh, mingle up with our like-minded partner. So we have to have such combinations in our foreign policy. And even this self-reliance is the theme of India's 74th Independence Day. So the theme is self-reliant. Basically, we shall now concentrate on what is self-reliance. Uh, self-reliance is usually used in the context of economy and production for key goods and services. But we have seen a global supply shock in the wake of the pandemic. So for that reason, we have to wake up to this truth that we have to be self-reliant. We cannot depend upon production from other countries or we cannot totally rely upon imports. So this is the main basic uh, example for self-reliance. Uh, to In order to increase our self-reliance, the basic example is the pandemic where there is global supply shock. But here in the context of this analysis, the self, word self-reliance is about foreign policy, which also includes economy and production, but something more than that, a broader view. We shall see about that. That is dependence on imports. So in our foreign policy, we have to depend on imports, but we have to reduce our dependence on imports. And the second thing is critical commodities. If we depend on the high quality critical, uh, for high quality critical commodities on uh, great powers on big countries, there is a chance that we go wrong with our relations with them and our foreign policy fails in getting those things. So we have to be self-reliant about critical commodities also. And the next thing is India has always been a strategic autonomy. We never uh, have taken any part on anyone's side. We were never on USSR side or US side or we were never on China's side. We were never on one side in any war or conflict or cold war. We are always of strategic autonomy. This is the basic foreign policy of India. That is non-alignment. And we are an independent developing country. We take pride in this word of independent developing country. So we, didn't, we never took any help from anybody. We don't take any stands. And foreign policy autonomy always remained constant with respect to India. So we never deviated from this truth. Foreign policy autonomy. We were always autonomous, independent and self-reliant. So we have to even increase our self-reliance in re with regard to imports, production, economy and all. The next thing is here we need to have an understanding of world order stages. There are three wo world order stages. Earlier it started with bipolar from 1947 to 1991 when the USSR broke up in 1991. The next thing is unipolar from 1991 to 2008. This is until when there is a huge crisis in USA. The next one is multipolar. That is the present times thing wherein we are with in relation with different countries based on different combinations, based on our needs and their like mindedness. So that is multipolar. This is the world order right now. So India has to be flexible. Seeing the history of India regarding its flexibility. India sometimes adjusted its strategic autonomy. Though we take pride in our strategic autonomy, during crisis we have to survive. That must be the main agenda of the country. So in order to survive, we took stands or we took help from other countries. So we shall see in what occasions we adjusted our strategic autonomy and have taken the alliance of other countries. The first example is 1962 China war. In 1962 China war, we took the help of USA with military aid. So when we got USA's military aid, we could uh, do a good war with China. The next thing is 1971 Pakistan war. So during that time, Indira Gandhi made a treaty with USSR, the treaty of peace, friendship and cooperation. So this was helpful for ending the war in 1971. The next one is 1999 Kargil war. In Kargil war, US intervened and had to force uh, the uh, Pakistan to uh, back down in the Kargil war. So in these times, we took the help of USSR and USA 
in different uh, various geopolitical circumstances so these are the examples of geopolitical circumstances where we where we did not stand as a strategic autonomy but took the help of other great powers so there was no non alignment during these times but we had a de facto alliance with others so these are some india's flexibility in its foreign policy of strategic autonomy now the present thing is non alignment 2.0 is going on that is in the wake of china us cold war we know that presently after the pandemic or near or uh, near past of pandemic there is a cold war going on between china and usa and we haven't taken any stand yet but if we had to take a stand we take it on the side of us because we have china's incursions along our line of actual control and we have other border security things with china but this would uh, uh, this would be a challenge to our security and sovereignty as we have china as our immediate partner if we take the stand of usa so in this cold war also we are strategic autonomy or we haven't aligned with any of them so even non alignment 2.0 is running with regard to us china cold war so india's strategic aim is to be an independent power center so we are not just independent or isolated but we have to become a power center in our geopolitical area so we have to become an independent power center like usa as the main biggest power center so in the lines of usa we have to be an independent power center in our region with uh, this will be possible with intensified cooperation with middle powers of asia and the world so this is how we can become an independent power center so we need to counterbalance china for various strategic uh, uh, friction between friction things between india and china so in order to counterbalance china we should not put all our our eggs in the basket of usa we should not believe in a one big power and put all our hope in that so that would uh, eventually or possibly go wrong so we in order to counterbalance china we have to fight in other ways but should not take the whole stand of uh, usa so that would also strain ties with iran and russia if we are on one side of usa only we have needs from iran we have needs of russia and that would strain ties with these two countries also so in that way it would impact we cannot take anybody's stand so we have to follow only our strategic autonomy policy so on from russia we have to take the help of uh, defense modernization for our defense improvement and all so we cannot uh, just become enemy to russia or iran by taking just the stand of usa in every matter in order to counterbalance china so what is the way forward to it diversification is the essence of self reliance so we need to diversify our stands we cannot take just two people two opposite things and we cannot take one stand we have to diversified in this multipolar world order uh, so we have a wide baskets of strategic partners right now so we need to continue this policy it is a very good policy to have so many strategic partners instead of take, taking a single stand so the world is currently emerging into multipolar and this is an era of dense networks we have strategic partnerships bilateral multilateral partnerships we have our defense partnerships exercises and everything is a dense network we have to participate according to our interest and the interest of our neighbor so re, we need to reconfigure our autonomy according to joseph nye he is an american philosopher according to him power with others to accomplish joint goals we should not take a stand but we have to share our power with others to accomplish joint goals if they also have the same goal as we have india is free and self reliant not through isolation or alliance we are not totally isolated or we are not totally a friend to somebody but we have to have this in combinations we have to be mediocre finally this could be ended with a good tone that we have to be a multi vector country we have to have our policy as a multi vector foreign policy multi vector foreign policy is the one in which we develop friendly relations with the states that play a very significant role in the world affairs and also are of practical interest to our own country so that is multi vector foreign policy so we need to develop such friends like or uh, those that have good hand in world affairs those that have good significant role in world affairs and also of practical interest to our own country's interest so we need to come up with a multi vector foreign policy in a multipolar world order so this is need for a self reliant foreign policy in a multipolar world order this is the analysis of it and thank you